So this is my cheap and easy way to clean your brushes and your tools. Starting out with the brushes, I like to use isopropyl alcohol. I keep it in a spray bottle and then I also will pour some into a jar. Start out with wetting your brush and then wipe it on a towel. I like to sort of press and wiggle it to work in between the bristles. Then I clean the ferrule, which is that metal connector piece, and the handle as well, just to keep everything, you know, clean. <laughs> For stubborn or really big fluffy brushes, really dense ones, or ones that don't come clean well, put them in the ISO in a jar and give it a little squish around and you'll see all that product coming out. and then press it against the jar to wring out the extra ISO. Then I like to pat it and squeeze out more ISO. <laughs> and then to make sure it's really dry, I give it a little brushing. And then I like to put my fluffier brushes in to brush guards afterwards. The brush guards are really handy. They are sort of long and stretchy and they keep the brush in this very nice shape. Um, it does dry well in the brush guard, so you don't have to worry about that. And another plus is that you can sort of leave a little extra and then dry them upside down. So if any ISO is still left in there, it's not gonna wreck the glue in the bristles. It's gonna all come out. For your tools, I like to spray or you could soak them in the ISO. You could also use, I guess, hot soapy water if you wanted. And then just wipe them dry. I like to do sort of a finishing spray and then let it air dry. Make sure you do your pencil sharpeners as well because those can carry a lot of bacteria and then when you sharpen, you just go from pencil to pencil spreading the bacteria. I clean my spatula all the time because I use it pretty much every day and I think it's really important to make sure that it's clean. Same with my palette. Okay, for eyeliners, I like to wipe off a layer or you could use your clean sharpener and give it a good sharpen. And then you can either soak it, like dip it in ISO, or you can give it a good spray and that'll clean it. Um, for liquids, try to keep them in a pump top or if it's a bottle like this, you can use your clean spatula and just scoop out the product. For creams, also instead of putting your brush or your fingers in there, use your clean spatula and just scoop off a layer. For eyeshadows, um, you'll want to spray the tops and then just wipe off the top layer with like a clean tissue. And then if you want, you can spray after one more time as well. But this should take care of any bacteria. And same with blushes as well. Any pressed powders you can use this technique for. So there's the basics for you on how to keep your tools clean and we'll see you in my next video. Bye!